and good morning guys welcome back to an awesome awesome episode thank you for clicking on the video we're gonna be targeting some redfish flounder trout maybe some bass man because this water is really fresh but the water level is really low so we're gonna see what we have to work with we're gonna be using a wide variety of lures some of these Japanese lures that you've seen on my previous video that my friends at Digitaka has given to us and man whoo it is a humid humid morning already I'm sweating bullets uh, not that I'm scared or anything. It's just it's just so hot. But anyways guys stick around stay tuned Enjoy the video sit back relax and you guys stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are at our first spot We're gonna go with the clickbait minnow here Let's we'll see if we can catch something we see a, I see a lot of small little bait a lot of mullet And let, let's see if we can catch something Using the new Stella beautiful from Digitaka with the old 18 suppressor too. That thing is a piece of art. <laughs> Just looking for that subtle bite, fellas. That subtle, subtle bite. So we can get something to hit at this, at this drain right here. There's a big gator coming on my way right over there. And Mark says he wants it to stay on my side. What a good friend. <laughs> That's a very big gator. Probably the biggest one we've ever seen here. Maybe that'll scare him. That's probably the biggest gator I've ever seen. Eight, nine footer, easily. Yeah, there's no doubt that that is a massive fella. Whew. Oh my gosh, there's plenty of food for him out here to get, you know, that big. You got a combination of redfish, alligator gar, birds on the bank. It's like a buffet line. It is. What, what is that fancy French word? Buffet. Buffet. Food. What else do you need, right? <laughs> Food and beer. <laughs> Sounds like a party to me. <laughs> Eli, what's up, baby? So I think we need to change. Great Scott, Marty! <laughs> if there is a redfish around here. All right, there's no fish here, brother. I have given up. Yes, sir. I hope I don't get copyrighted. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are at our second spot, man. We are taking a tour of the Galveston area, especially the North North Texas coast. Uh, after I got fat on that Schlotzky's, I feel like it's time to hit up another spot. So we're going to try to hit up the late day bite. God, that's a tongue twister. Late day bite. See if we can catch one keeper. That's all I need is one keeper. I'll be very, very satisfied. So yeah, let's let's see if we can catch some fish. You guys stay tuned. We're gonna kind of be patient and wait for the tide to start moving. And just kind of fish the shoreline. I'm using the clickbait minnow from Bugs first. Let's see if we get anything to hook up. Nice, he's a keeper. Let's get the net. So, oh, he let go. I was a keeper, man, on the, uh, on the click minnow. Put a little stink on it and he hit it right there. At that corner. <laughs> Let that sink all the way down. And then we're gonna slow touch. Uh, right here is three feet, 3.3. 3. Where you're at is probably like at four. There's a nice drop right there where you're at. It just drops to four feet. And 89.7 degree surface temp, bro. Yeah, it's pretty hot. There we go. Another motorboat. There we go. We can get him in. <laughs> he looks like almost a keeper. <laughs> Caught him right at the boat. They're like barely, they're like kind of small. Uh, I mean, I felt some bites here and there, but beautiful trout. Like yeah, exactly. Oh man, his mouth is tore up, dude. I'm sorry, brother. Hold on. Let me get this out for you. On the uh, clickbait minnow, which is doesn't go on sale till later next year, I believe. But it's going to be a hot, hot, hot bait. So... You guys keep your keep your ears and eyes open out because I'm pretty sure these are gonna sell out pretty fast. Heath has something pretty cool going with these minnows, but uh, check out that trout right here, guys. 
beautiful fish. I would say he's about uh, 14 and a half, maybe 13 and a half, maybe 12 and a half. I don't know. So what's happening is uh, the water temp is like 90 degrees pretty much. And I didn't really feel him hammer it. He was just kind of like, like nibbling at it. And he finally committed uh, right when I was pulling it up. See, I'm feeling a little twitch or a little thump right there. Like they're kind of just like, like, maybe thumping it with their head or something if that makes any sense they're not really like committing with their whole bites so the micro lure is uh the perfect bait to use right now considering that we caught two already put a little bit more stank a little bit more stank 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 no honestly i really wonder how much this stink really works i don't know but it does boost my confidence yeah like me mentally you're like okay here we go we're about to catch a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> See a thump? Yep. Yeah, they're here. Nice there we go. Oh, boy. Look at that, man. Look, look a five inch fish, man, pulling drag. <laughs> and I found hook a croaker, dude. That's why. <laughs> look at this, dude. <laughs> found hook a croaker, baby. On the Stella. <laughs> God, that's, sorry, croaker. That's a nice size croaker, though. Oh dang, I got thumped there. God man, they're short biting mine. That's a trout. That's a trout. I'm gonna get him in. I'm gonna get him in. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. I know you can't always catch big one folks. I never I don't always catch big fish, but catching small little trout like this is a lot of fun, dude. Especially on the click minnow right there. Look at that beautiful fish, man. Probably about 10 incher. See you later, dude. Yes, sir. The lure. Made in Japan. Lure. Made in Japan. Lure. Maybe we can get lucky here. Give me some luck. This right here, folks, is the Alpha Air TW from Daiwa. This 8.6 gear ratio model. This is, God, this has been a pleasure to fish with. I'm going to do a comprehensive review soon. I've been using it for over a month now, and it's, God, it's one of the smoothest reels I've ever, ever fish with this is the Scorp shimano scorpion bfs direct competitor from daiwa this is a brand new model for 2020 gosh this is i would buy this again i would buy like if i if i could i would replace all my reels with this one right here this bait cast reel this is oh my gosh it's so buttery smooth the drag is smooth it's such a pleasure to fish with and if you're interested in this uh this reel and then you're waiting for my reel review um don't fret it'll be out soon but just rest assured, it, I've beaten it to death so far and it's still silky smooth like I got it from the, like I just got it today. Uh, links in the description below. Don't pay retail. Get it from Digitaka. That's where I get all my Japanese JDM reels. And this is no different. It's a link in the description below. There we go. What is this? A small redfish. Finally, we got a redfish <laughs> on the little Japanese lure. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. You're a beautiful fish. Thank you. I feel like this is where the oyster was at. Yeah, here it is. A little oyster bar right here, folks. We're going to catch a donkey here. I have a feeling. i going to work it really good. See? Told you. <laughs> nice. Oh, good flounder. Good flounder. Here we go. Let's not lose him. Let's not lose him, Nick. That's a keeper. Oh, shoot. That's a keeper. Yes. Woo. And I am caught. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, my first keeper fish, and it is a respectable, nice big flounder. We're definitely going to keep this guy right here. Look at that. Well, look at that fish, guys. That is a nice, nice flat boy right here. 
a saddle blanket nice fillets right here got them on that japanese lure just bouncing it by the oyster man really happy let's see how big he is but uh, for sure going to be a keeper and we're going to keep working this area to see if i can catch something else i see the bait starting moving 15 and a half inch and to all you guys out there that think that flounder is supposed to be 15 inches you are actually absolutely correct but you're going to be correct in september right now until september flounder legally is 14 inches in the great state of texas but like i said it is going to change this year and i've already started practicing um flounder keeping flounder at 15 and a half and above beautiful fish right there man god that's a pretty fish <laughs> There we go, another fish. Feels like another flounder. That was small little red. <laughs> I'll take them all, there he goes. Caught him right here at this little apex. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try our luck with some gulp. A lot of you have sent me messages through Instagram and DM wanting me to fish more of gulp because that's what you guys like to use. I guess that's what you like to see on video. So that's what we're gonna do. See if we can catch one more keeper using the gulp swimming mullet chartreuse is one of the most popular colors i have here a small 1 8 ounce tt uh jig head lure if you're interested links in the description below let's go and hook her up and see if we can catch fish you know i know it can catch fish but is is it the type of fish that we want that's a different story <laughs> gulp was starting to disappoint me man i've been throwing it for about 20 minutes only getting hit by pinfish and hardhead <laughs> no game fish Dude, you know what? I think that might be, I don't know, that that could be a flounder trying to eat it. Because if it was a pinfish, let's see if I can see any teeth marking. I mean, it might be a pinfish too. No, that might be a flounder right there. See that teeth mark right there? He's sitting like right over here. Let's see if we can get him. I'll let him eat it. It's a small guy, obviously. But it's all oyster. yeah oh my god look at this mangrove snapper what <laughs> a mangrove are you joking me what the heck <laughs> i would never in a million years think i would catch a mangrove snapper here but check that out guys these are one of the most delicious fish i mean these taste so freaking good it's a small guy but look at those teeth look at look at i'm gonna show you these teeth i hope you don't bite me look at those Look at those sharp teeth right there. That's a pretty mangrove snapper. Dude, I can't believe it. This, this is a photo worthy for sure because you don't see these much anymore, especially down here in the Galveston coast. Man, I can't believe it, dude. They say gulp catches everything. It sure does catch everything, man. This guy ate it. <laughs> Let's let him go later. If he was bigger, I would definitely keep them because they're so delicious. <laughs> 